I'm Dara Patel, an aviation student at Eastern Michigan University. I love aviation and flying. Today, I've come to Valoran Airport to meet with two women who work in the operations at the cargo airline USAJ. They are going to tell me how they keep an airline running, how they got into aviation industry, and what it is like as a woman to work in their field. First, I'm meeting with Jocelyn James. Jocelyn is a crew scheduler for USAJET. Crew schedulers work to book the pilots for flights. USAJET is a cargo airline. Their clients include many major companies. These companies rely on USAJET to move their goods and resources across the country and even Mexico and Canada so that they can keep their businesses running. Jocelyn makes sure that when a client needs a cargo shipment made, there are pilots available to get it where it needs to go. Hi Jocelyn, thank you so much for meeting with us today. Can you tell us what your job title is and what is it you do? Yes, so I'm the crew scheduling manager. Um, I build the schedules for our pilots um, a couple months out and I handle their bids. Um, I also keep track of their vacation and their payroll. What does a typical day of a crew scheduler look like? Uh, typically I'll come in, um, I look over our board to make sure that anybody who's coming into rotation is on the board and anybody who's going into days off has been removed. Um, then I check uh, my emails to see if there are any changes with crew member availability or if anybody is requesting PTO. And then, like right now, when I'm building schedules further out, um, I take a look at that and I uh, look at their PTO and move their days around so I can see what our coverage will look like in the future. What are some skills that a person would need in order to become a successful crew scheduler? I think organizational skills are key, um, and then also just paying attention to detail. You wanna make sure that you have all of your requests in order and that you have a good recollection of what people like for their schedules. Also, making sure that you keep the company's needs in mind when you're um, focusing on other people's pers personal schedules like PTO and day off requests and things like that. Jocelyn gave me the opportunity to come take a look at what crew scheduling looks like. Balancing the crew schedule is a difficult job. Jocelyn has to take into account the needs of the customers while also keeping the crew happy, meeting their desired work arrangements, vacation requests, and training time requirements. How many days a month a pilot typically work? Um, so for USA Jet, uh, our pilots get 14 days off a month. Um, so they work um, Usually it'll be like 14 to 16. Do your pilots do quick turns or stay over for the night? They do both. So depending on how many days of availability they have and depending on the trips that are available, they can either be sent out um, and you know start at yet when they begin their rotation and then not come back here um, until their days off. Or it can be a quick turn if they are going into their weekend. Um, one of our more busier places is Laredo. So oftentimes we'll send people there um, even just in advance if there's no cargo because we know that we'll be able to book trips out of um, closer to the border. So are these training schedules? So it does include some of their training. This is their work schedule, basically. So it'll have the days that they go to training, uh, but also we'll, um, they will have additional schedules that will be more in depth on their training classes, what they'll be doing in training, and who their instructor will be. Well, thank you so much, Jocelyn, for showing me what you do every day. Next, I met with Amy Speck, Amy is the Vice President of Business Operations and Project Management at USAGEN. She oversees three departments, flight following, crew scheduling, and lift optimization. As a VP in the cargo airline field, Amy is well-versed in logistics. People who work in logistics manage the movements of the goods and resources to meet their customers' needs. Thank you so much for meeting with us today, Amy. Thank you for having me, Dara. I really appreciate it. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at USA Jet? I help get airplanes where they need to go, make sure that we have the crews to match with the airplanes. I oversee crew scheduling, um, flight following, which is um, more commonly known as dispatching, also lift ops, which is uh, asset allocation. So what are some skills that helps you do your job? Being a good communicator is absolutely fundamental to this position. You need to be able to work with not just your own team, but other teams. So what are some things that young girls can do now that would help them work their way up to a position like yours? I would tell to 
uh, people that are interested in aviation get into some sort of internship program and accept any position that may get you into the field. Getting yourself into those entry-level positions not only gives you insight to what the other jobs do, but also could direct you in the path that you want to go. And especially as a female, um, I think it's important to network with other females in the aviation career and getting in that entry-level position is a good start. So I'm interning as a flight follower this summer. So hearing you say that any internship is beneficial to your career in aviation industry is very helpful because of the long stressful weeks, I was kind of questioning, like, should I be you and doing this? But hearing you say that means a lot. Thank you yeah, so much. It is, it is absolutely the truth. I think that it affords you, again, the ability to see if it's even the right career for you, because it is different than many other industries. We are constantly moving at a faster pace. So trying those things on in an internship program is by far the best avenue. So what would you say are some of the challenges you face on a regular basis in your position? The challenges are every day, uh, and they're always new. We always need to be working with each other as a team, which is an environment I most like to work in, is a team environment. The challenges are you know, working together, matching those aircraft with the shipment, matching the right crews with the shipment, and all at the same time, you know, watching the weather, watching um, different dynamics that could impact the flight and exceed your customer expectations. For me, it's an exciting job, something I'm really proud of, but something you, you need to be the right fit for. Thank you so much for giving me so much insight on this side of operation. Dara, I really appreciate you um, interviewing me and, and bringing this to the forefront. It's so important for women in aviation, and I thank you. Airline operations is a complex and interesting career. If you're looking for a career that involves a fast environment, multitasking, and problem solving, maybe a career in airline operations is for you. This program is supported by Eastern Michigan University and Digital Divas, with additional support from the DTE Foundation, ITC Holdings, and viewers like you. Thank you.